Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are cooking Le Dessert. That means a dessert, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Um, anyway, that's my French, my, my bootleg French, but whatever. All right, guys, so today we are cooking some Duncan Hines. Um, I'm sure by now you guys have seen my other video, or maybe not. Y'all know my schedule be all over the place, but I upload every day, so sometimes it can get a little hectic. Um, today we're cooking the Duncan Hines Epic. I did cook also on my channel the Epic Brownies. Today it's the Epic Cookie Dough Cookie Kit. Includes cookie mix. Uh, let me show you guys. Includes cookie mix, cookie dough filling, and sprinkles. Looks pretty simple. I mean the other one was a little bit more, but the cookies look pretty simple. All you need is four tablespoons of melted butter, one large egg, Oh, I'm sorry one tablespoon of water and that's it I mean the prep it looks a little complicated but it's not it's not that serious I read it looks pretty easy just gonna go ahead and make the um you're gonna make the cookie dough and then you're gonna go ahead and just you know make your little cookie balls go ahead and bake them and then you're gonna put the filling that they give you in it and just roll it in sprinkles just roll it in sprinkles see it don't look it don't look hard it looks easy and y'all know me, I love the quick and easy stuff. And I like how um, Duncan Hines, how they just make it so easy for you. You know, you know excuses no more why we can't bake, y'all. We, if, you, if you're not a, a professional um, cake maker and all that like me, just do it the easy way, bake it. Get you some Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, and all the rest of them, Pillsbury and all the rest of them companies that make it easy for you. And it tastes just as good. Hey, I have no problems admitting I cannot do something. And baking a cake from scratch, that is not one of my expertise. I am not ashamed to say that, honey. Okay, so let's get into what's in our kit. Uh, looks like we've got some, let's see what this is. Okay, this is our chocolate chip cookie mix. Okay, all right, our chocolate chip cookie mix. Uh, we've got our sprinkles. Okay, got our sprinkles here. Let's see what's else in this box. And that's it. The um, the epic cookie dough flavored filling. That's it. That's in the kit. I mean, it looks real easy. And then of course it says to knead and squeeze before using. You know, knead means to just you know just kind of smooth it out with your hands while it's in the package. This is kneading, guys, in case you don't know. Kneading, just moving it around and getting it all loosened up. Yada, 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 yep. All right, so that's all that's in our kit. This looks easy, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna move right into it, because it looks easy. It ain't much in the box, so it can't be too complicated. Um, all right, so I got my oven preheated to 375. Grease large baking sheets with Pam. Um, I've got non-stick cooking sheets, um, but I am going to go ahead and spray them with Pam like they said. I probably won't because I have, I have, um, my, um, cooking sheets are non-stick, so. Preheat 375, grease baking sheets, stir together. Okay, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. All right, we're going to bake these for 11 to 13 minutes. All right. Okay, let me get the cookie mix open. Get our cookie mix open, guys. Move this cream and sprinkles out the way. We don't need those right now. Okay. All right, put that in there. Okay. Let's get the cookie mix done. Okay, cookie mix. Okay, let's get it in there. You guys can see. Let me bring y'all over a little bit more. Oh, back over. Okay. Got our cookie mix. Like I said, this one looks really easy. The brownie one was a little bit more. Had a little bit more to it, but it wasn't that hard. All right. So, we got the... Let me lean this so I can see. Okay. So, all right. So, we got the chocolate chip cookie mix, melted butter which is four tablespoons of melted butter. I already melted my four tablespoons of butter. All right, got that. 
move that out of my way. Okay, so so we'll stir together our uh, melted butter, one egg. Okay, got our one egg. All right, and water, one tablespoon of water. Okay. Got our one tablespoon of water we're adding. Easy, this is easy. Okay, all right. So, oh, we're gonna mix this together, that's it. Just add your egg and your water and your butter. That's it, this, this looks like it's just making a cookie dough. That's all it's doing. It's just making a cookie dough. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Girl, what is you doing? Man, I just made a big old mess. Got cookie dough powder all over the floor. All right, okay, well, let's work around that. Make sure y'all can see. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit to that cookie dough mix. Cause that's all it is. You're just making a little cookie dough mix. Stirring that together. Okay, box. Box don't wanna cooperate. Okay, we just mixing this together. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, make sure you got your sides all scraped up. Make sure y'all can still see. Yep. Looks easy, yada, yada, yada. Oh, it smells good and chocolatey. Nice and chocolatey, chocolate. Y'all know how I say it, chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Okay. Alright, that's it. Okay. Alright, so divide dough into 12 even portions, about two tablespoons each, and roll into a ball place on baking sheet, leaving at least one inch between cookies. And we're gonna bake them 11 to 13 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's easy. This was real easy. All right, let me get, get rid of this fork. Yeah, this looks real easy. Get my little handy dandy spatula that's always helping me cook. All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that's why I get my spatula to make sure I got it all scraped up from the bottom. Make sure everything's all nice and mixed. You guys can see. Yeah, okay. Make sure everything's all nice and mixed up. Make sure everything's all mixed, guys. Break your sides, get all your stuff, get all your stuff that you paid for. All your stuff. Okay. Alright, don't do too much. Don't do too much now. Don't do too much. Okay. Alright, so. I gotta get those cooking sheets. Okay, they're way over here. Hold on, y'all. I might not need both of these cooking sheets. I might not. I don't know. I'm going to see. Okay, so I got this one over here. I got both, but let me just move that one out of the way. Okay, so. said I should spray my pan, so let me go ahead and spray it. Because the cookie dough might be, you know, kind of like a, a sticky one. So, I'm going to do like they said and spray it. Alright, so. Uh, about two tablespoons. This is my tablespoon measurer here. I hope this don't stick to my hand. Look a little. Say form a ball, but looking a little sticky. Hope it don't stick to my hand. Yeah, this ain't working. I don't know why I say to form a ball because this is sticking to my hand. Anyway, we just gonna do it like this. Cause all we need to do is make cookies. That's all we need to do. Okay. 
Got my little two, my little one tablespoon measure here. You can make them whatever size you want to make them. They're your cookies. You can make them whatever size you want. These are going to be some nice size cookies. Yeah, I'm going to need that second pan. I'll do the rest of them on that second pan. Okay, let me make sure they're going to be at least the same size. Okay. Put a little bit more over here. Don't put too much now. I need y'all to be about the same size. Okay. Alright, so. Okay, those look cute. Wait, and put a little bit more on this one. Okay. Those look good enough. We just want to make. We just want to make. Um, we're just making cookies. That's all. All right, so we got that first pan done up. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and do this second pan. Get the second pan done. Uh, go ahead and put them in the oven. My stove's already preheated 375 uh, for 13 minutes, I think it says. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Get that done, guys. And uh, when I come back, I'll be uh, bringing the cookies out. Well, no, I'm going to bring the cookies out. Let them cool off. And then when I come back, we'll be filling the cookies. All right, guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got the cookies out of the oven. Like I told you, they're out of the oven. They're nice and cooled down and all that. So we are ready to get our uh, final cookie destination done. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. And as you guys can see, they're not all perfect the same size. So what I will do is I will definitely try to match them up with the ones that are the same size as them. Okay, that works because you're supposed to make like a little like a little sandwich. So you're supposed to take two cookies. All right, let me get the cream. I've already got our epic cookie dough, uh, <clears throat> our epic cookie dough flavored filling. I've already got it cut over here. Got it cut here. And they had me cut it at an angle, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it out. interesting okay all right I got my little spatula here to help me out just you know what actually I think I can just squeeze it but nah I don't want to do that because I don't want it to be all clumpy so I'm gonna make sure it's all evenly spread Okay. Oh, it looks like the filling's got chocolate chips in it. Okay, this looks really good. All right, let me see. I think I want to put more cream in it. Yeah, I need more cream in this thing. Because what we need to happen is... When I close it, we need the cream to come out, out the sides. Yep, that's what we want. Want the cream to come out the sides. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Need a little cream over here. Come out the sides. Make sure you got your cream on all sides. Our cookies are nice and soft. I love that. Cook them just like they said for 13 minutes. Give you guys a close look at that. Looks really good, guys. I did a good job. My first time fixing these. And Duncan Hines, Duncan Hines just came out with these. So you just kind of squeeze it a little bit so that you, you know, your cream kind of comes out the side. And I've got my sprinkles over here. You guys can see I've got my sprinkles on a paper plate. And you're supposed to just roll it. Roll it in the sprinkles. Just like that. And the sprinkle sticks to that, that filling cream that's on the side. Oh, okay. I did a good job. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's cute. I did a 
really good job, y'all. That is really cute. And I've got my little cookie bowl over here where I put my cookies when I bake. So cute. I got it sitting over there. Y'all see how I got it sitting over here? Sitting over here in my little cookie thing. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I did a good job. I love cooking new things. And look, my, cookie, my cookies look better than theirs. My cookies look better than Nucky Hines. You know, it ain't gonna be perfect, y'all, but that's cute. Okay, I did good. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, y'all see how I did it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more with y'all. Go ahead and do one more. That's why they give you so much cream. Let me get matching cookies. I gotta match these cookies up. Okay, perfect. It's funny because they all, like, you know, like they're all different shapes, but they all kind of ended up looking. Tried to make them all the same shape. It wasn't that, it wasn't easy. Okay, so. Okay, cool. I got it. Okay. So, all right, these two, I think it's easier. Make sure y'all can see. I think it's easier just squeezing this cream out like this. Like squeeze it around the edges. Like just squeezing it out around the edges. So when I squeeze the cookie down, it's going to come out around the edges. And I just kind of twist it down so you don't break your cookie. Softly twist it down. So you can get the cream coming out on the sides. Just keep twisting it down softly because you don't want to break your cookies and smash your cookies. So. Okay. Okay, that's cute. Y'all see it. Y'all see how I did that. It's so cute. So cute. All right. Okay. Mm, and this filling is like a, a cookie dough kind of filling. So it's got chocolate chips. It's just like, you know, the cookie dough you can eat. That's exactly what it is. That's what the filling is. So, all right. Let me go ahead and get them all finished up and I'll be back to show y'all. Okay, guys, I'm all finished. And yeah, there's minus one or two because, yeah, I, I, I ate some. So, all right, guys. But anyway, they are all done and complete. They are so cute. They taste really good. You know, it sounds like a lot with the cookies and the cookie dough filling. And you think it's really sweet, but it's really not. The filling isn't that sweet. It's just even the cookies. The cookies aren't that sweet. So, um, that's what I like about it. It's not as sweet as you think it is. The cookies, the sprinkles, the cookie dough filling, that does sound like a lot. But it really is not that sweet, guys. It's not that sweet. They didn't make it that sweet, thank God. But yeah, guys, here they are. Our little epic cookies with the little sprinkles on the side. Pick one up for you guys because those sprinkles be acting like they want to fall off. But yeah, they're cute. They turned out really nice. And that's it, guys. All right, you seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.